Hello, my fellow Saints, Atomic Dudman here, and I'd love to welcome you back to the Saints HQ, where we talk everything Saints Row related. What we'll be discussing today is what a Saints Row 5 reboot could do for the series if Volition decides to take this path in the next Saints Row installment. Also, in my latest video, it shows that 91.6% of you are not yet subscribed. If you could please click that subscribe button, it really helps the channel out a lot. I try to upload at least one time per week, so if you want to be notified when a new video goes live, shoot that small little bell icon down below. With all that being said, kick back, relax, shut the hell up, and listen. If Volition were to go in the direction of, hey, we really wrote ourselves into a corner story-wise here, let's start from scratch, start from fresh, going back to the roots of Saints Row, and show what originally put Volition on the map as a studio overall. This would be a phenomenal option in my own personal opinion. I would love and adore this concept completely, but here, let me tell you why. This would really free up writers to create an engaging plot with various sophisticated narrative direction they could really drive this series in. Writers would not have to worry about continuity, plot holes, or anything of that nature. The fan base is already there for Saints Row, and the brand does have a rather recognizable name at this point in time within 2021. We could see a new origin story revolving around the boss within Saints Row. Instead of being saved by the Saints in the crossfire of a gang turf war, it could be something entirely different, such as you saving the ass of an important lieutenant within the Saints, and they vouch for you to join the gang. Another route Volition could take is by players creating the Third Street Saints with Julius, and he betrays you like the end of Saints Row 1 after you took over the city. Let's say you jumped off the boat just in time, and it shows you sluggishly making it to the shore breathing heavily then blacking out, with the boss stating, I'm gonna find and bury the motherfucker who tried to cross me then credits roll. Then, with the next Saints Row game, a reboot of Saints Row 2, continuing off the boss jumping off the boat, the boss could have been captured by the feds and put into a maximum security facility due to the boss passing out on the shore, of course, after the boat bombing in the scenario. Johnny Gat could then come help break you out. While the player was captured, Gat stepped up to be the leader, locking down Stillwater. After breaking out with Gat, the player would then become Gat's second in command, to then begin your journey to find out who betrayed you and the Saints. Near the end, when you find out who betrayed you, I would have a huge plot twist and kill Gat off in the most badass send-off there ever could be, with him dying the player's arm, with Gat's last wish is for the player to take the mantle of the Saints leader. Within this storyline of Gat being leader, then passing away and promoting the player to the new boss of the Saints in the following game, Saints Row the Third Reboot, you could go after whoever killed Gat in the previous game and take yet another city for yourself. The possibilities in this aspect are absolutely endless with crafting a new origin story for the boss. Johnny Gat is by far my most favorited Saints Row character other than your own player or the boss, but I do feel he gets in the way sometimes because he feels so invincible and his morality isn't checked, but it was in Saints Row 2. I feel a better character to have been killed off would have been Pierce in Saints Row the Third, due to him being such a docile lieutenant compared to all the other Saints lieutenants such as Shondi. Pierce also didn't have a lot of character development. Later in the series, he just came off as really whiny the entire time. With a reboot, Volition could also return to Stillwater, reimagined like never before. Or they could take the row where the Third Street Saints originally came from and attach that entire neighborhood district to an entirely new and different city. If Volition was to do this, they'd have to be literally starting from scratch, and none of the other games truly occurred within this timeline at all. A Saints Row reboot could also change change who the original leader of the Saints were, what their backstory was, who all the lieutenants are, what those lieutenants' backstories are, and lay an entire new foundation 
by introducing an all new cast to the Saints Row franchise. This could either hurt or help the franchise, but it's still an idea to keep in the back of our minds, but to also keep our minds open if they were to go further back when the Third Street Saints were first created and make an entire new timeline from a way further back timeline than we saw in the original Saints Row installment, such as a time in the 70s or 80s, and then with each new rebooted title in this new trilogy, we could go into the future more and more and more as we continued on within this new reboot trilogy of Saints Row. Great news! I've crafted an official Discord for this channel, and also, due to this channel not being monetized, I've created a Patreon if you would love to further support me. Both links are down in the description below if you are interested. If you enjoyed today's show, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I personally would really love to see you around the channel more often. What do you think about Volition rebooting the entire Saints Row franchise only if they return to their roots? Let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to pull up and pull out your Glock and pop that bell icon to get notified once a week when a new video goes live, and be sure not to miss the next Saints HQ meeting. I really do hope all you enjoyed your time with me, as I always love making videos like this for all of you. If you love content like this, please drop a like to show how much you really enjoy these types of videos. It really helps the channel grow and get me noticed by more individuals out there on YouTube. I appreciate all the support and thank you so much. Love all of you guys. Your hosts, Atomic Dud Man, and until next time.